Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Princess Beatrice was joined by her steps in Wolfie as she and husband Edordo Mapelli Mazi as the royals attended their annual Christmas Day church service. Christopher Wolf, known as Wolfie, is the son of B's millionaire husband and his ex Dara Huang, who she previously called her bonus son. The couple largely keep him out of the royal spotlight, and before today had only been seen at the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. As he walked to and from church, the youngster dressed in a smart suit clutched Dad Ito's hand, although Beatrice and Ito's daughter Sienna, who was just one, stayed behind. But Wolfie wasn't the only kid making his royal Christmas debut, so was four-year-old Prince Louis, who walked to and from church with his mom and dad the Prince and Princess of Wales and siblings Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Mike and Zora Tyndall's older children Mia and Lena were also spotted with their parents making their way to and from the service, as were their cousins Savannah and Isla, the daughters of Peter Phillips. Lena, who walked to the service with her mum and dad, preferred the company of older cousin Savannah as they walked back to Sandringham House for lunch together. Meanwhile, today also marked the first time that King Charles led the family to and from church, with him hosting Christmas at Sandringham for the first time this year since the death of his mother, the Queen, in September. Christmas at Sandringham follows a break when, due to the COVID pandemic, the late Queen spent the festive period at Windsor Castle two years in a row, the first with the Duke of Edinburgh, separated from her wider family, in lockdown. After the morning trip to St. Mary Magdalene Church and the greeting of well-wishers, the family are expected to tuck into a lunch of turkey and all the trimmings. Afterwards, traditionally members of the royal family sit down to watch the Queen's televised address when it airs after lunch at 3 p.m. on December 25. This year, they will watch King Charles' first ever Christmas address, where he is expected to, to pay tribute to the late Queen. An image of Charles, taken during the recording of his inaugural festive address, has already been released ahead of the broadcast being screened later today. The annual festive message was recorded on December 13 at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, a religious building which has a strong association with the late Queen and where she is buried alongside Prince Philip. It was filmed in the choir of St. George's Chapel, where the royal family sat during the Queen's committal service, and during the broadcast, the choir of St. George's Chapel, Windsor performs the national anthem and sings a carol. The monarch is pictured standing while delivering his address. Although in recent years the Queen recorded her Christmas broadcast sat at a desk, she had also stood in decades past. So what do you think guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.